moved to this part of trigonometry which we refer to it as the triangle formulae. Remember that the first part of trigonometry was happening in a right angle triangle where we used so katoa sine, cos and tan of, of a particular angle. This one, <coughs> we look at this diagram. You must be able to see the three dimensions that you see here. This is the front view, this is the side view, and this is the bottom view. When you're looking at this diagram from the top, you'll see this triangle. When you're looking at it from the front, you'll see a particular triangle. When you look at it from the front, you'll see another triangle. Now we see the three dimensions there. We refer to this problem as 3D at times. Now, when you look at it, there are two things that are important. Number one, you look at those triangles. Look for a right angle triangle. Whenever you see a right angle triangle, that's where we use your Sokatoa. So, ka, to. Where the, the definition are, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent. You only use that if and only if the triangle is a right angle. Now, looking at this triangle, you can see that whenever you see this triangle, that's where you use the trig ratio. But if you look at these other two triangles, they don't have any 90 degrees. Hence, when you refer to these two triangles, that's why we use this topic that we are dealing with called the triangle formulae. Remember, there are only three rules. It's the sine rule, the cosine rule, as well as the area rule. You only use the area rule when you're required to find the area. You only use the cosine rule when you are given two adjacent sides and an included angle. Right. Let's look at the question that we have. Question number one. We are required to find the length of side LB. Let's look at LB. Where is LB? It is in which triangle? It is very important that you mention the, tri the, 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 the triangle that we are using. In this case, LB is in this triangle, but it's also in this triangle. But we can also find the LB using this triangle because it is easier to use the, the right angle triangle. So I mentioned the triangle that I'm going to use. I'm going to solve in triangle. This is HLB, that's the triangle that I'm going to use, HLB. That's the triangle I'm going to use. To give you more hints, look at the marks for this one. It's two marks, the other two are four. Most cases, where you're going to be using the trig ratios, the marks will be lesser than where you use the topic that you're dealing with, which is the triangle formulae. That's the sine rule, the cosine rule, and the area rule when you're required to find the area. Let's look at what we have. We do have this angle. What else do we have? We do have the opposite side in this triangle. What is it that we're looking for here? We're looking for this side. This side is called opposite. This side is called the adjacent next to the angle. And this side is called the hypotenuse, the side opposite our 90 degrees. All right, moving further. What is it that we don't need in this triangle? I need this opposite side. I need the adjacent side. I don't need the hypotenuse. So you go to your trig ratios. I know that I've got to use the trig ratios now here, but which one to use? I do need the adjacent. I do need the opposite because I'm given, but I don't need the hypotenuse. You go to your three, three trig ratios. You cancel the one that has hypotenuse because you don't need that one. So there's hypotenuse there. I can't use sine. There's hypotenuse here. I can't use cos. Hence, I'm only left with tan. That's the only one to use. Let's use it together. You've got tan of angle 40. Tan 40 degrees. You understand the definition. The definition of tan is opposite over adjacent. Remember, this happened only in a right angle triangle. I can't use that in these two other triangles because there is no 90 degrees there. Let's follow the definition. Tan of an angle is to wa. Opposite, opposite over adjacent. What is the opposite side? It is 3 meters. It is 3 over. What is the adjacent? It is this side that we're looking for, LB. Remember that we're looking for the distance LB. So it is over LB. We're looking for LB. Let's try and make LB the subject of the formula. So all that you need to do is cross multiply. So LB will come this side and tan 40 will come this side. That's cross multiplication. So distance LB will then equals to 3 over tan 40 degrees. Right. Once we've got our LB in this form, it is very easy. You just go to your calculator. Make sure that your calculator is in, deg is in, is, is in degrees, not in gradients. We're going to have 3. This is 3 divided by 1040. It's 10 of 40 degrees. The answer is the length of LB has become 3,575. So I'm going to make it 
3,58 meters. Remember that you write the unit because we're given the unit here as three meters. So it's 3,58 meters. Let's look at the next question that has been asked in this section here. Number two, we are required to find the length of AB. Remember this next two, this one is easy. We're required to find us the third one, we're, we're looking for the area. But this one, we're looking for this. Whenever we're looking for the, remember there are three rules. The sine rule, the cosine rule, and the area rule. This one, I know that I'm going to use the area rule. Let's look at the length of AB now. AB, AB. This is the length that we're looking for now. Length of AB. AB is in which triangle? In these three dimensions. It is exactly in this one. So it is important that I tell the examiner the, 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 the triangle that I'm using in this case. In this particular case, I'm, I'm using the triangle ALB or ABL. In triangle ABL. I'm going to use this triangle to find this side AB. Now the side AB is in this triangle. Okay, what is it that you are looking for? It is vitally important that whenever, dim whatever dimension that you are finding, it is important that we take it, we transfer it into the diagram so that our, it will make our lives easier, so that we'll know exactly what is it that we have. Now if you look at LB, you already have LB as 3,58 meters. We do have LB now. We're looking for AB in this triangle. Number one, do we have 90 degrees in this triangle? No. Once the, there is no 90 degrees, you can't use the trig ratios, your sine, your cos, and your tan theta. You can't use those. So obviously, we've got to use what? The sine rule or the cosine rule. Let's remember this. For a, a cosine rule, if I want to use a cosine rule in any right angle, in any triangle which is not a right angle, if I've got two sides, two adjacent sides, and an included angle, I can use a cosine rule. But if I don't have this, I use the sine rule. As long as the triangle is not a right angle triangle, it's very easy to, to grasp it in that way. If you're given two sides and an included angle, you can use a, a, a cosine rule. You can't use a cosine rule if I'm given this side and this side and this angle, because this angle is not included. It is not the angle that is between the two sides that we have. Now, you only use the cosine rule when you've got two adjacent sides and an included angle. If you're not given that, use the sine rule. Okay. Let's look at what we have in this diagram. In this triangle that we have here, triangle ABL, let's check at what we have in that triangle. We do have this side. We also have that side. We also have the included angle. Whenever we have that scenario, that's where we use the cosine rule. That's where we use the cosine rule. So I know exactly what to use to unlock this problem here, to find this uh, side AB. Let's check it. It's in the cosine rule. If I'm looking for this side, it will say AB squared, in other words, this side squared is equal to this side squared plus that side squared minus two times length side times length side cosine of this angle. Let's do this again. This side squared is equal to this side squared plus this side squared minus two of this side times that side cosine of this angle. Let's write that down. We are saying the cosine rule says AB squared is equals to this side, which is AL squared, plus this other side that is also given, which is LB squared. Times LB, the second side. Because we are using the cosine rule, obviously we've got to use cos. Cos of the included angle, in this case, is angle L. That's what we have. Let's push in the dimensions that we have there. AB, let's just use, let's just find AB to find the square root of this one. So AB will be the square root of, what is AL? We check here, our, L, our AL, it is 5,2 meters. So wherever we've got AL, we're gonna push in 5,2, this is squared, plus LB, LB, let's see what we have at LB. Make sure that you push in the correct dimension. It's 3,58. Notice that if you got this one wrong, obviously you'll get this other one wrong as well. 3,58. This is also all squared. 3,58 all squared minus 2 times AL, which is 5,2 times LB, which is 3,58. 
uh, cosine of 113. Seeing that angle is 113. Yes, it is. Right. Once you've got, you arrange your, 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 your problem in this way, you've got AB equals to something. You go straight to the answer. AB then will be equals to, you punch in exactly as you see it in your calculator. You've got square root part in there, you punch it. After the square root, you see a, a, a bracket, you open bracket, you, push, you punch in 5.2, 5,2, you close the bracket exactly as you see it, then you square it, you, square, you press the square button, you follow it as it is, it's plus, you'll never go wrong if you follow it as it is, open that bracket, it's 3,58, after that, you close the bracket, make sure you have it, you close it, you square it, punch the x squared button, you subtract two, you open that bracket, it's 5,2, you close it, you open another bracket, exactly as it, you close, you open another one, which is, uh, you write 3,58, 3,58, you close that bracket, then you write cos 113, then cos 113. Make sure that you close that bracket as well, the last one for the 113, then the answer would be, you write exactly what you see, it is 7, 3759 and so on and so forth, but correct two decimal places, it will be 7,38. Remember, this is the distance, it is measured in meters, because we are given the distance in one dimension as in meters. Then the final answer will be AB is 7,38 meters. Then the last part of this problem is asking us to find the area of which triangle, find the area of triangle ABL. Let's look at triangle ABL, ABL. It's the same triangle that I've been using. Does this triangle have 90 degrees? No, it doesn't have 90 degrees, so I can't use trig ratios there. If it had 90 degrees, or if I was looking for the area of this triangle, it was gonna be easy. It's half base times perpendicular height, but I can't find perpendicular height here. Hence, I use the triangle formula. It is the, the, the solution to triangles without 90 degrees. Now, what do we do here? We're looking for the area of triangle ALB or ABL. That's the, form, that's the triangle that we're looking for. Then the area of that triangle, area is equals to half the, 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 the adjacent side, half, uh, in this case, it is AL, AL times the other side that we're given, LB, sine of the included angle sine of L. Remember, the area rule will always use the sine, not the cos. The co if I'm looking for the cosine rule, I use the cos here, but if I'm looking for the area, I will always use the sine uh, ratio there. Then our area will then be equals to half. What is the value of AL? Remember that we do have AL that it was given as 5,2 meters, 5,2, and LB, we calculated our LB, as 3,58, it will use the same, the same dimensions that we are using in the cosine rule. So what is this saying to us? If they are going to ask us to find the area, therefore we, do, we would have applied a cosine rule in a pencil. Then it will be 3,58, 3,58 meters. Then the actual area will be equals to, you take your calculator, you punch what you see. It is half, it's a fraction, it's one, over two into, uh, open bracket, it's 5,2, 5.2, you close that bracket, you open another one, it's 3,58, 3,58, you close this bracket, you press the equal sign, it will give you the exact area. Oops, I did not put the sign here. I've set half of AL, this is LB, then sign of L, what is our L? It is 113, 113. It is 113 degrees. Then you multiply this by sine uh, 113. Close this bracket, this then will be equals to 8,57. It is 8,57, remember this is meter square because the area is measured in square units. Thank you. Eight.